Welcome to the Welcome to Greek Life celebration tonight. A little brief overview of what's going on tonight. We have an introduction from us, the President of Greek Council, Matt Stevens, Advisor for Greek Council, Mark Zeno. Um, advisors, alumna, will be giving speeches. We'll be discussing the Hayden policy. The ladies of Capital Side Omega will be giving an alcohol awareness presentation. And we'll have a word from each group. Matthew? <laughs> Thanks, boss. governing body of Greek Life here at Heidelberg. Um, we hold uh, weekly meetings where each group sends two representatives to those meetings and we pretty much conduct all of the business that needs to take care of Greek Life in general. Um, some of the stuff that we do is we help program for Greek Life. Uh, we have Greek Week, Greek Sing as you guys know. All of these things are sponsored and held by Greek Life Council. So that's part of what we do here. We also have a conduct board, which we hold all of ourselves accountable to. Um, as well as that, we have a standards manual that each Greek group um, participates in, and this makes sure that we are all doing the things that we need to be doing on campus. Um, we're also one of four governing bodies here, along with EEC, IRAC, and Student Senate. And if you guys need anything ever, feel free to contact me. You can find my email online, or I'll be walking around doing new member education. Feel free to just stop me anytime you need, and let me know if you need anything. Thank you. Council, but I'm also the Assistant Dean of Students here. Uh, but on top of that, I am also an alumni of Heidelberg, graduated in 96. I was a member of our Greek community, uh, very active in Greek life all four years while I was here, uh, and a very proud alumni of Greek life. Greek life has really grown, prospered, changed, but the philosophies and values have remained the same. And so today I want to talk to you for two hours. I'm just kidding. I'm going to give you the top ten Greek expectations. Um, these are things that uh, all of you need to think about as, as a Greek community. Uh, prior to you 112 students joining us, there were 240 Greek members on this campus. So, you add that together, we're a little over 350 students that are involved with Greek life on campus. That is roughly 35% of the campus, undergraduate on campus population, 35%. That's great. That's, that, that standard is above what most national uh, statistics are for Greek life on campuses our size. So congratulations to you. You've joined something uh, that is a, a record breaker. Um, and so we're very excited to have you a part of the process. So I want to talk to you about the 10 Greek expectations. And these are not really in any top 10 order. Uh, Dave Letterman would probably say I'm okay with, with using this. But uh, I want to tell you that you, you know, as a member, you have rights and privileges uh, that are listed in your group's constitution, whether that's the mission, values, and, and, and goals. You are part of that now. You have say in that. You have a voice. You are now part of that organization. You're, you are part, number nine, you're, bit, you're part of a bigger family under the Hutterberg umbrella. As Matt mentioned to you before, we are one of four governing bodies on campus. And so we are under that umbrella. Uh, uh, for Heidelberg students. So uh, understand what those expectations, responsibilities, and accountabilities are being as part of that. You're now set to a higher standard. Number eight, 
Networking social interactions are benefits and membership. You've probably heard that over and over again from different members, but it is. You're going to meet alumni out there. You're going to meet the person sitting next to you, maybe somebody you might work for or might work for you someday. I, I will tell you, I've worked for three different Heidelberg alumni in my time. Three different Heidelberg alumni in my career. And so never, never, take, uh, never take advantage of that opportunity to get to know the people around you. And not just the people in your group, the people that are in this room. Sisterhood and brotherhood, we, they're more than just words. I think every one of you will say the same thing. We've all come under the idea that we're here to be something more than ourselves. So sister and brotherhood are something that's so important. Friendship and family coexist together. We are a fun and caring group. We really are. We do take care of each other like family. And so we, keep, we watch out for one another. Number five. We still maintain our individual identity and group identity partnered through our Greek life umbrella. You are still an individual, but you are also part of the group. Number four, high standards. You'll hear that over and over again. <coughs> we, we tout our academic standing on this campus. We continually prove over and over again, Greeks have higher academics than non-Greeks. Over and over again, we prove that. We are actively involved in more things and non greeks And that's a great thing to say. We are actively involved. And professionally, we have more opportunities. And those are the things that I love that are traditions here at Hedgeberg. Number three, overall trust. You've all made a decision to join Greek life. You trust what you were told. Now you get an opportunity to see that, that process. Number three, and very importantly, role modeling. By both active members and new members. You are all members of the Greek society at this point. Once you sign that big card, you've now joined the family of Greek life. And so you have expectations expected of you to be good role models. And finally, you. Be you. You are something that is important to Greek life. It's important to Heidelberg. And we want you to be you. Don't try to be anybody else. Don't try to change who you are. You join this organization. You were asked to join by these groups because of who you are. All right? So I want you guys to have fun. Over the next couple of weeks, you're going to be learning a lot about history, tradition. You're going to get a chance to meet a lot of our, our alumni who will come back through these processes. And if you ever need anything, as Matt had said, if you ever need anything, please seek me out. I love talking about Greek life. Greek life is the reason I got into higher education. And uh, if it wasn't for that, I don't know what I would be doing today. So please, seek me out if you have any questions or any concerns. Uh, and, and enjoy this time that you have together. Thanks, everyone. I would like to introduce um, a man who's been here for an entire part of Greek life since he's been in <laughs> or Greek life in general. Mr. Bob McLeod. Thank you, Dave. Good evening. Let's try that again. My second, third, and fourth grade junior achievement classes are more responsive. And they're at 11 o'clock in the morning. Good evening. Good evening. Better. I know a lot of you had tests and papers today. Uh, some of you may fortunately not have had classes, but still. As Gage said, my name is Bob Youngblood. Uh, I graduated class in 1970, pledged in the spring of 1967. So yes, I'm old enough to be all your grandfathers. But I, <laughs> I don't know who said all, oh, but thank you. Uh, I had the pleasure of being a part of this uh, university for a number of years working in the alumni office and in both the admissions office. So I understand Heidelberg and what Greek life means. I'd like all actives, all actives, to please stand up. Stand up. Ladies and gentlemen, as you heard tonight, 112 new members are joining your organizations because of what you have done. And gentlemen, you five male organizations, 
160% growth from last year. Give yourselves a hand, gentlemen. Those of you who are new members, turn your bids in yesterday or today. Please stand. Okay. Look around the room in its entirety. Now concentrate on those within your own specific group. Because, and I'm, Mark kind of stole some of my thunder. That's okay. You know, those of you who were in the room last year, I was kind of Bobby Bummer because I wasn't real happy with Greek Light, as were a lot of alum, Greek alum over the uh, you know over the years from all ten groups. But things have changed. I think through Mark and through the actives and their involvement, we proved that fall pledging can work, and we proved that Greek Life is something very strong here at Heidelberg. Before you guys sit down, you used to be on your feet. <laughs> you, those around you, within your own groups, as Mark said, those are now your brothers and your sisters, along with the actors. Those will be the people who, down the road, you will remember. They're going to be the people who, you know, help you understand what a uh, physics problem is. How it's going to help you understand why they fought the Peloponnesian War. It's going to help you understand what the difference is, you know, between why Custer was a bad guy and Custer, I'm sure Custer was a good guy. These are the people that for the next several years you're going to grow with, you're going to learn from and help learn. Get to know your brothers and your sisters. Because when you graduate from here, they're going to be the ones, not only those presently sitting, but also those standing with you, that you're going to come back and you're going to rely on and you're going to revisit. Okay, sit down. Can all ten Greek presidents just come up and stand by this? New members, learn from the experience that these 10 young people in front of you have learned themselves over the years. They haven't achieved the honor of being leaders within their groups because they're the best looking, they're the wealthiest. Come on, look at AJ. <laughs> They have achieved their position because they have learned from the past from alone and they have assumed the role of leadership. And one of the reasons why the success, particularly on the men's side, this year has been because of the leadership that these five gentlemen, no offense ladies, but these five gentlemen have, have shown within their groups. I'd like to thank the 10 presidents, myself, for an outstanding job you've done this fall, and good luck. Thank you. Thanks, One, last thing, more than things One last thing, enjoy the next couple of weeks. I think you'll find it uh, enlightening. I think you'll find it uh, thrilling, enthusiastic. <laughs> physically, maybe, and even mentally straining a little bit at times, but enjoy it because, ladies and gentlemen, there is no finer time in your college career as what you're going to go through and the groups you're going to join within the next two weeks. Congratulations and give them hell.
have six. Oops. We have the new Sigma Alpha advisor, Lori Kaufmeyer. I told him not to show me up, he did, um, in both height and in speech. So I'm just going to stick to the script, keep it short, somebody time me, I will be the shortest one here in stature and in speech. <laughs> so good evening and welcome. On behalf of all of the Greek advisors, because well, not everyone will be speaking tonight, welcome to what will become one of your most memorable parts of college. I have to be honest with you, I was never truly interested in Greek life. I completed my undergraduate year at Heidelberg and was only ever part of a corollary. But that's just as much as I knew about the process. When I was approached by the men of New Sigma Alpha in 2012 to become an advisor, I didn't know what to expect. And even just as an advisor, watching my group develop, I now at least understand why students go through this. So no matter what people tell you, you're not paying for your friends. You're paying for the experiences that you'll have with the people in this room. Experiences that you may not have without, without the Greek family that you're about to form. So I wish you luck in the days to come. Some days will be hard even after new member education. Many current members can tell you that. A lot of mine can. But this is why we have each other and we're one unit, as Mark said. And we're all here to support each other. So as long as you stand strong and level-headed, enjoy the ride of new member education, and remind yourself every day why you chose this path, you'll gain so many positives from Greek life. So good luck and welcome. Next we have Lauren Austin Smith, advisor for the Final Lady Society. And Lauren. Just kidding, everybody. Next we, next we have Jenny Shuttley, Kappa Psi Omega Advisor. We love you. <laughs> okay, um, I'm Jenny Shuttley. I am not an alumni, but I have been on campus for 28 years. Um, and before that, I was born and raised on campus. My mother worked here for years. So I've known a lot of Greeks. I've grown up as kids, as a child here. I um, had a lot of Greeks that took care of me because my mom worked a lot. And I know what the family bond is that they all um, take away from here. So enjoy your next couple of weeks. It won't be easy, but it's fun. And just remember, they've all been through it. So you're not doing anything they haven't already done. So enjoy it, welcome, and have fun. Up next, we have Final Lathing Society alumna, Lauren Austin Smith. Um, I'm Lauren. Like Jenny, I was raised on campus. My dad actually taught here. Um, so I grew up watching the Greeks. I knew from the time I was probably about four or five years old that I wanted to be Greek. So uh, Jenny and I actually went to grade school together. We were in the same class, just so I know. Um, anyway, so um, I, I knew what I wanted to do because I watched, I saw what they had, and I wanted to be a part of that. So not only did I, was I able to go Greek when I got to Heidelberg, but when I, after later on I had children, um, I actually was able to share those same things with my girls. And I have two girls that eventually followed my footsteps. Um, I don't have a top 10 like Mark did, but I've got three things that you might really want to think about. Number one, get involved in things outside of Greek life. And there are a lot of reasons for that. But one of the number one reasons is because when you get right, you get involved in things outside of Greek life, you meet more people that you can then make Greek. So the idea is, you know, if you want to share what you have with somebody, the best way to do that is to go out, meet people, be involved in other things, and bring them back into the fold so that the Greeks get bigger. Number two, and I'm doing what all of you do, 
which is put notes on my cell phone while I was there. Um, oh, keep in contact with your alums. Because your alums have been where you are in one way or another. We, we most of us get that generations are completely different, but we haven't forgotten what it's like. And most of us try really hard to relate to what you're going through now. So we don't think it's any easier to be, to be um, I'm going to call you a kid, because in my world, anyone under 25 years old is a kid. So kids, I mean, it's, it's harder to be a kid than it was when we were kids. It, it is. Um, more is expected of you. You've got more going on. An another thing where the Greeks can really help you out. So reach out to your alums, bring them back, and use them. That's what we're here for. And number three, be good to each other. Because the people outside that aren't Greek, they don't really get it. And they never will unless they are Greek. And if you're good to each other, whether you're a Delta or a U or a Phi or an X or a Rho or a whatever, if you're good to each other and they see you being good to each other, they're way more likely to want a piece of what you have. So congratulations to all of you. Go get them and bring us more Greeks next time. <laughs>
Ripley Chapel, so you can grab them before you go. So you have that handy for you for your email notification process. All right. Do you have anything to add? Uh, no, the laser cap Psi Omega. Would you like to join us?
Hello, everyone, and um, welcome. My name is Hannah Long Higgins. Thank you for the introduction. Um, I have the privilege of serving the Women of Delta Sigma Chi as president this semester. First, I want to congratulate you on your decision to go Greek. You, um, you're joining a large network of men and women who have also chosen to be an intentional community throughout their college experience, and it's a fantastic choice. Um, with the next few weeks in mind, I want to share something with you that has been very influential for me this year. How many of you know the band Alt-J? Raise your hand. Yes! Awesome. Good taste in music. Um, the band Alt-J calls themselves Alt-J because if you press the Alt and the J keys on a computer keyboard, it creates a triangle or a delta, which in the mathematical world means change. So this year, the Delts have taken this symbol and run with it. We have inspired, we've been encouraging and challenging each other to be the change or Delta that we hope to see in our group, in the wider community, and in the larger world. Greek life provides a tremendous platform for enacting change within yourself, your society, and your community. And I encourage you to not only seek out ways uh, in which your NME process will change you, but also the qualities and attributes of change that you can bring to each of your respective groups. So when in doubt, think of Alt-J. Check out their new album. And they didn't pay me to say that. <laughs> Thank you and congratulations. <laughs> Who is a junior president of Alpha Phi Tau? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, as I was introduced, my name is Greg Marsano, and I get the pleasure of serving the men of Alpha Phi Tau as their president. Um, I just want to say that you know, welcome to Greek life. Uh, it's an exciting group to be a part of. Um, as Heidelberg Greek Life community, um, and because that you have accepted a bid to a prospective group, you've already shown a lot of commitment and dedication to an organization that is larger than yourself, um, and that's something to be very proud of and something to be very uh, encouraged. Um, so a lot of these groups have their own dynamics and they have their own customs and traditions, but I'm not here to talk about the individual groups or so much as you know the benefits of being Greek. You'll find those out fairly shortly um, on why most of us have decided to join a Greek group. Um, the first is, I have three things I just want to generally ask that um, all of the new members try to think of and try to pay attention to during new member education. And the first is, try to get to know your pledge class. Um, your the class of new members that you're going to be going through new member education with is uh, vital to understanding who you are and your stat uh, status in the group. Um, I can say that after about almost three years, I rely on my uh, brothers that I went through uh, new member education with a lot more than anybody else on this campus. So it's uh, definitely something to try to make a commitment to. Learn who you're going through the same process with, get to know them, become friends with them. Um, it'll make a lot of things easier because they'll be your very first support system. Um, the second part is to uh, learn your group and your alumni. Uh, a lot of groups here are you know, very old, some very new. And it's important to know the active members as well as the alumni. And each person has something new that brings something to the group. And it's important to understand that uh, they're, they're there to benefit you. Um, alumni have countless networking and resources uh, in their um, portfolio to use. And so it's important to make sure that you reach out to them because they're there to support you. And that's why you ultimately join a group group. It may only last for four years, but you have to think of long-term benefits of joining a group that has great alumni that are going to be there to support you and so that you feel more welcome to come back and support uh, those active members on campus long after you're gone. Finally, uh, take some time to learn the other members that have joined other Greek groups. Um, don't just think about your own individual group. We're a community here. And uh, I know that a lot of you have different friends that joined other groups. Um, I personally have a lot of friends in other groups as well. And it's really cool to understand um, cert what certain groups do and talk to them and see how uh, their responsibilities and what other groups are doing. Because all groups have different events and unique things that they like to put on during the year. And it's awesome when we come together as a Greek community to uh, kind of have a lot of fun and uh, do a lot of different things together. Um, with that, I want to thank Joel Boardman for the speech. He inspired me very much. 
And uh, with that, best of luck to Emmy, and I uh, hope to see a lot more green flags around on campus. Thank you. Next, we have Martha Reyes, uh, Senior Vice President of the Global Society. congratulate everyone on taking this first step on to, in, to joining Heidelberg's Greek Life family. If you are here, that means you have found a group that feels like home, and it only gets better from there. I encourage you to take advantage of the opportunity of going Greek. Do not think that just because you are new, you're at the end of the spectrum. You, <laughs> you have a voice, and you should let it be heard within your halls. Enjoy your time here with your group, because trust me, it will fly by. Good luck and have fun these next two weeks. Right, up next we have Stephen Kassan, Senior President of the Excelsior Men's Society. <laughs> Come on, I Are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Would. Okay, I'd just like to first off um, congratulate the new members on accepting their bids. Um, I can guarantee that it will positively influence your life. Uh, Greek life has changed a lot of things for myself. Um, but let's just keep this short and sweet, like Lori said. I uh, don't know if I'm going to beat it or not. But um, first thing I'd like to talk about is the misconceptions of enemy. I'm sure your friends at school have told you things. I'm sure you've heard things about other schools. We just read the hazing policy. It's not going to happen. So um, just remember, it's a fun and educational experience. And that's what it should be. And that leads into the second point. Is being a fun and educational experience, you are students first. Make sure you get your grades for your homework in before the fun games. So, which means procrastinators, make sure you get it done. From 9 to 11 or 9 to 12 is enemy process. So let's make sure we get our work done. Um, thank you. <laughs> Wilson, Alright, so first off, I just want to congratulate everybody for deciding to go Greek. It's such a big decision and you've all made a really good choice. Um, going Greek here at Heidelberg has been one of the best decisions I've made in my three years here. And I've loved every second. Um, going Greek gives everybody so many different opportunities to better themselves. When I first came here to Heidelberg, I didn't really have any interest in going Greek. Um, I honestly didn't really know that Heidelberg had Greek groups. But um, once I started seeing the women and men on campus who were involved in Greek groups, I thought that it was something I wanted to join, so I did do it my freshman year. Greek life will give you all so many different opportunities, um, such as leadership skills, communication skills, and just meeting different people. So just some advice for me for the next couple weeks, just have fun, like bond with your brothers and sisters, and just remember that it is a fun educational experience, so just try to do that, and good luck everyone. Um, our next speaker is Gage Thacker from New Sigma Alpha. Alright, uh, Jake Slavak was supposed to be here today, but he is busy volunteering at the Tiffin Fall Fest, so I decided to do this for him. He wanted me to give him, a, give him his speech, which this is how it started. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth on this continent a new nation. Conceived in liberty, 
and dedicate the proposition that all men are created equal. But I don't want to do that. So, uh, first of all, on behalf of all the men of New Sigma Alpha, we'd like to congratulate each of the new members on accepting your bids and become a member of Greek Life at Heidelberg University. I would also like to tell you best of luck in these next two weeks, and if you ever get down, just think. It used to be three weeks. <laughs> But in all seriousness, you will never forget the enemy process that you are going through. No matter what group you join, what you are taught, during this process you can make some of your best friends here and grow so much as a person. Don't believe me? Ask any of the alumni from your group. No matter how well they are, they will tell you about their process. Wishing that, don't be scared. A lot of things have changed. Um, for crazy stories. Um, lastly, I would like to congratulate everyone again on becoming a part of Heidelberg Greek Life, and I would like to leave you with a quote from an unknown author. Uh, fraternities and sororities symbolize all that we wish to accomplish in our lives. They represent the struggles we all face as we grow. Why we cling to them, no one can explain, but in the end, we're all strong for it. Thank you very much, and I'd like to um, bring up Haley. Sorry, I forgot your last name, I'm sure. Um, she is from Zeta Beta Psi. Process, but trust me, it's all worth it. One thing to remember is that your group is there to support you. So if you have any questions or concerns, just ask them. Also, make sure you finish schoolwork before any work. Academics are the foundation of Greek life and something each group prioritizes. So have fun, be safe and smart, and again, congratulations to you all. Congratulations, new members, and best of luck with your enemy processes. And the next speaker is Clayton Hotshell, Junior Treasurer of Sigma Tau Nu. Um, 
everybody has said it before me. So simply enjoy, learn, and experience everything Greek life has to offer. Thank you. Alright, that is all the groups that we have today, so in conclusion, Haley and myself are the Vice President of Membership for Dream Life Council, so if any of your members were not able to come tonight, they contact either of us or Mark Zeno, have them contact us, and thank you very much.